Environmental tobacco smoke, or ETS, is the mixture of smoke that comes from the burning end of a cigarette, pipe, or cigar, and smoke exhaled by the smoker. It is a complex mixture of over 4,000 compounds, more than 40 of which are known to cause cancer in humans or animals, and many of which are strong irritants. ETS is often referred to as secondhand smoke, and exposure to ETS is often called passive smoking. Infants and young children whose parents smoke in their presence are at an increased risk of lower respiratory tract infections and are more likely to have symptoms of respiratory irritation like cough, excessive phlegm, and wheeze. EPA estimates that passive smoking annually causes between 150,000 and 300,000 lower respiratory tract infections in infants and children under 18 months of age, resulting in between 7,500 and 15,000 hospitalizations each year. These children may also have a buildup of fluid in the middle ear, which can lead to ear infections. Older children who have been exposed to secondhand smoke may have slightly reduced lung function. Asthmatic children are especially at risk. EPA estimates that exposure to secondhand smoke increases the number of episodes and severity of symptoms in hundreds of thousands of asthmatic children and may cause thousands of non-asthmatic children to develop the disease each year. EPA estimates that between 200,000 and 1 million asthmatic children have their condition made worse by exposure to secondhand smoke each year. Exposure to secondhand smoke causes eye, nose, and throat irritation. It may affect the cardiovascular system, and some studies have linked exposure to secondhand smoke with the onset of chest pain. These are just a few things to know about environmental tobacco smoke. To learn more about indoor air quality testing services and prevention measures, please visit the websites shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.